Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to Taverno Rockhold. I realized last episode I said welcome back to Tor Taverno Rockhold a little too early. It ended up messing with the intro pretty bad. And uh, it was kind of hard to sync because I wanted to delay it until the logo. But then I couldn't delay it until the logo because it would just had the it had this like second of no dialogue. That's really uncomfortable. But anyway, we're back in the re dev world. And if you'll notice, some things are a bit different, right? We've got some more resource pack stuff going on. And uh, the grass is uh, arguably greener. Is it greener or less green? I guess it's technically still green. Uh, it's less bright because I've realized, you know, the, uh, the aesthetic is nice, but it's not pleasing. And I feel like this is so much more pleasing. Um, yeah. So I, uh, I did some texture stuff. Look, I'm wearing a full set of armor, but it only looks like a helmet. How adorable and fantastic. In today's episode, uh, I have one hour until my parents are home, straight up. And uh, I, w I need to get an episode out because I'm just not on the same level um, cognitively when my parents are around. It's just a thing. So yeah, that's what, that's what this episode's about. The urgency to squeeze out my last few Home Alone thoughts like toothpaste. Like a, like a toothpaste bottle that's not technically empty, but, you know, many Americans would say this toothpaste is empty. However, the, those who know the struggle are squeezing it. Meet my thoughts right now, FR. Um, things have been going pretty damn well, actually. The algorithm started picking up more of my content. Uh, that's part of why I'm recording right now. It's really hard. It's such a... I haven't watched Lord of the Rings. Uh, like, I watched half of the first one. Well, the fourth one gets kind of confusing. Um, and I feel a, a lot like Bilbo when he's like, when he thinks he doesn't care about the ring and then he's like, I don't want to get rid of it. That's kind of me for real. So think about that. No, I don't know. Like I, like the whole, the, my idea when I started this channel was like, dude, I'm just going to upload Let's Plays onto the internet and like, they're just going to be there. I think originally I also wanted it to be like an ARG, but I mean, I'm not good at like developing those so it's just it was just kind of a thing uh and i was just like yeah wouldn't it be so funny if i just uploaded minecraft let's plays to the internet and then like said nothing like didn't interact with it in my real life in any way you know and just had them there and they were they're sitting at like three views five views zero views and that didn't happen because i have a disgusting habit of preferring when things uh look nice and so i keep slowly leveling up the content so like the first one, yeah, had every right to not be picked up by the algorithm, but by like the fourth or fifth one, I had the intro going, I had, you know, wiser music choice and like, yeah, that's what happens. But yeah, uh, I did some sort of renovations to some stuff off camera and I feel guilty whenever I do something without recording, but like sometimes I just don't want to talk, you know? And I did one time in the past, I recorded what I did and played it in the bottom left. And that's something I probably should have done, but I don't know. It's just nice to be able to still play the server without thinking about your let's play. Um, I added some chairs and tables. I switched some stuff around. I got a cauldron here now because potions are huge in this uh, in this mod, and I need to get into those. Yeah, we've got stuff. We've got stuff. I raised the clown town sign to make it look more like the Hollywood sign. And keep in mind, I don't own any of this shit. Like, I, I that was totally out of my jurisdiction. But I don't care because I'm a savage like that. Yeah. I uh, don't really know what to do in this old episode. Um, I, don't know. I read somewhere that um, ores generate two times as much in the nether in Reindev. Uh, so I guess we can try that. We can explore the nether a little bit while we talk about stuff and things. I'm really, I really stress for topics because I don't know whether I'm talking about <laughs> the algorithm, my gender, my parents' reaction to my gender, or um, what else is a frequent? Oh, my love for Minecraft. Like that's like all I ever talk about. So, yeah, there's some issues. This is nice. I think this is different from when I was last year, a year ago. So that's cool. Very interesting to see how, just like the the block system here and how how the portals work with that. And yeah. here's a little Nether base someone built. Nether Church. My bad. Built in 2022. Okay, that's adorable. Yeah, it's got a bunch of yeah, no, this this passes as church incinerators forges and furnaces cool Some supplies up here. Well, no supplies in these chests, but 
the opportunity for there to be supplies. All right, well, that's swag AF. All right, well, I'm gonna try another mining. I think, okay, I can't remember if the pigmen are naturally aggravated or not. I'm gonna craft a diamond sword just in case. Um, but if I remember correctly, they're a good source of pork chop, so. Or wait, okay, I actually have a better idea. I can pull it off fast enough. Okay, uh, I'm gonna craft a bucket. Pick a bucket of lava. I'm gonna craft an iron sword. Check this out, everyone. I'm gonna uh, dump lava on it and make it a molten sword. And then it casts fire damage upon my enemies. How do we feel? Pretty good, huh? Okay. Oh, you know, oh, it's also smart. Let's not take everything I own with me. Let's just, let's just keep the diamonds at the base for once. And you know what? I trust this place enough. I'm just gonna leave them like in here. I like, like I'm not live streaming. I don't think people really go in here much. I trust them. I can just like actually hide shit anywhere. If I put it here, I mean, it's not the best spot, but hey, I'm gonna take enough food out of here. Oh, there's not too much food in here. Yeah, see, fine. So I just gotta remember where those are and we'll be good. Okay, dangerous, it's a dangerous place. Okay, let's get mining. I just remembered that um, stone tools have that silk, or not silk touch, the fortune ability. So I'm wondering if I'll have to, like, does that even work on diamond stuff though? All right, right, you're not naturally aggro, right? Like that's like a joke. Yeah, see, we're chill like that. Yeah, I'm one with the pigmen. Okay, shit. Okay, so that's iron. I don't even have cobblestone if I wanted to craft a stone tool, so we're just gonna take it. We are at 55, yeah, oh, we got we got a place to go. Hold this fast, but it is breaking. What, why are we at now? 36, okay. All right, need a topic for the audio, audio listeners. That's not like talking about the channel. Ugh, fuck, impossible. I watched 500 Days of Summer a couple days ago for the first time, and it was a great movie, very, very deep, very many layers to explore. I loved it. Um, so yeah, super, super cool movie. Uh, I can tell it's just one of those that like, I feel like everyone has an opinion on, you know, and they're able to be like, I, you know, I side with this character. I side with that character. Did I just talk about this? I can't remember. I can't remember if I just talked about this in an episode or not. Okay. Well, that was your spoiler warning. Uh, I'm going to get in depth. Um, I personally, I feel like I side more with Summer. Not that I necessarily think Tom's the asshole. It's just like, I just, I don't know. I feel like Tom, listen guys, I'm I'm trans. I, I had a male brain. I still do sometimes. And there's just this notion of like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get her, bro. I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna get her anyway. Oh fuck, I should have crafted a molten pickaxe. Damn it. It's like, I'm just gonna get her anyway, bro. Like, trust, she wants me. Like, that's real. That's so real. So, in Tom, I like I see that so much, and Summer says like multiple times like you know I don't want anything serious I want this this and that, and I, time after time Tom is just like like there's 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 the narration and there's the um, just so many moments where he's like he just so confidently thinks like okay but like be real like I'm the I'm the best you know I he just he thinks very highly of himself and uh, I don't know but I don't necessarily think he's the asshole I I, I think. I don't know. Everyone has a right to think that they have all this control over. Well, not everyone has a right to think, but like, I don't know. Everyone, no matter what, is going to think the world revolves around them. I don't think there's, there's a whole, was this a good place? It was either good place or community. There was an episode on like, there's no selfless action. You know, like you, you can, you, any, an, anything you do can be analyzed as like, oh, you did this for your own benefit. You know, even if it is like donating charity, it's like, well, you just did it so you could feel good donating charity. Where does this go? I don't know. So basically when Tom is like being all funny about summer and shit, he's really just like, I don't know. When, when he's, I, I actually, no, I completely lost my train of thought. Can't lie. I don't know what the hell I'm saying anymore. All right. Well, I need a, oh wait, I don't need shit. Okay. So can stone mine diamond though? I just, I just have to test it. I know this is unsatisfying to watch, but I just need to know if it's going to give me a fortune. And dude, it's telling me, the the mining speed is telling me, it's like a big warning. It's like, do not do this. Okay, it doesn't work. I had to know. Uh, okay, that's chill. Oh, nether diamond ore drops as... Damn, I really wish I crafted a molten... Is there anything I can do? I could craft... Smelt this... Mm, hello? Well, I don't even know anymore. It's not, it's not smelting. 
Alright, well, I guess we'll uh, figure it out when we get up, uh, up to the overworld. Anyway, so Tom, I don't know. He's just like, he gives this energy that I think I used to have when I had, like, you know, these crushes on people in high school where it's just like, oh, no, dude, like, don't worry. Like, I can just work my magic, you know? And they don't, they don't even want me in the slightest. And I just thought, like, well, no, like, I can just, I can just be enough and make them want me. And I think that's what Tom has a lot of in, in his, uh, his character like oh i can just make her want me like trust i can just i can just work with her she says she doesn't want a relationship but like i'm me like let's be real like well i want her so she eventually will want me that's dumb oh i'm gonna guess i probably need a forge to make yeah okay that's what that is i need a forge to turn this into um okay oh how do you craft a forge forge basalt oh i have that oh yeah easy Easy dub. I just don't have anything to smelt. Forge. That's not bad. Okay, so let's do iron though. And then we can get crazy. Just need three and then somehow, I don't know. I just need to make a molten pick. Oh, so I need six. Okay, goodbye. Uh, in the same night, I also watched Yes Man. Well, I watched Yes Man first actually, uh, cause I was just feeling nostalgic and I was feeling low in terms of purpose and fulfillment. Uh, classic me. And uh, I was reading, I, I do this new thing where when I finish a movie, I play credits and I read IMDb facts about movie. And it said something about Do Zoe Deschanel and 500 Days of Summer. And I'm like, I've been recommended 500 Days of Summer before, knowing that Zoe Deschanel is in it and she's like literally gonna play the same character. Sure, why the hell not? It was worthwhile, it was good. I, and I, I don't know, I was also trying to read internet threads on it, but it's really, sometimes it's so hard to hunt down what the internet says about something. You know what I mean? Um, it's just so hard to find. Like they're, you know, it's just, they're, they're so scattered. They can mention it in one comment thread or make a whole post about it. Like, you know, it's just hard. Um, and one comment said, what am I thinking of? <laughs> where, where was I going with this? Dude, I actually cannot remember what I was gonna say. So additional 500 days of summer movie behind the scenes reaction i don't know you know i truly don't know but the comment was good oh shit okay watch out watch out watch out watch out watch out need lava audio listeners lava almost got dumped upon my face hi okay you can feel the heat coming from this lava pool there we go okay bucket boom oh i don't have sticks i think i burned sticks okay cool Guessing there's no like nether stick to craft these. Nope. Okay. Dude, tough shit. Ugh, okay. Okay, well. I didn't need it anyway. Fine. Ugh, I'm stressing. I have been procrastinating doing thank you cards from after my graduation party. I've been procrastinating filling those out. Uh, and I was supposed to do them before my parents got home. And I did like five or ten this morning like i did fine but <laughs> there are no there's like 50 to do and i don't know it's just like it's so tedious i'm not gonna i'm not gonna sit here and be like it's just kind of a crazy expectation uh, i shouldn't have to but like no oh, it's meticulous but yeah i'm a little scared because my parents are gonna get home and i'm gonna be like hey oh and they're gonna be like you finished these and i'll be like dude craziest thing i did like 10 this morning got on YouTube or got on Discord and, and YouTube studio, saw my videos were doing well. Just kidding. I don't talk about this with any of them. I was thinking about this once. Sorry, sorry to bring the conversation back to YouTube. I don't know when you're listening to it, when you're watching or listening to a, a video or audio like this, you know, you're, that's what you get. Um, but I, so I was thinking once and I'm like, dude, my parents are always like, they're so like, oh, get a job, do, do this, do that, do that. And like, I wonder how much different things would be if their mindset was like, or like not instead of get a job, but like on top of get a job, they're like, are you like making any YouTube videos right now? You know, in a way that they're like, we're not like, we don't want to see them or anything, but like, you know, we just want to make sure you're still like making something. Like I wish my parents were geared like that and they could make those type of recommendations and suggestions instead of just like, well, you gotta keep looking for jobs. You gotta, you gotta update your resume. It's clearly not working. I don't know. YouTube shows serious promise. I was thinking about this this morning. I'm like, but what's like my actual goal? Like, do I, is it all, you know, just like the to entertain, you know, all that shit. 
Or is there something more? You know, like, I don't, I don't know. It's because I'm really lazy with it, but I really do like making this type of content. But on top of that, I'm just lazy. So, I don't know. But what I do know is I like making this type of content. I just, like, I don't know. I, like, I hate sitting down and editing, like, long form, you know, with all these quick edits and subtitles and shit. If I could pay someone to do that, sure. Like, I'd love that. But I'm just, I, I need it to be simple, but I need, I, and, like, I had this idea struck me. My parents sent their ETA, and I'm like, video title. Uh, you know, I have an hour until my parents get home. I'm gonna make a video. Like, I'm, you know, roughly something like that. I'm like, that would be, that'd be a great video. Let's just make that right now. And so that's another part of the process that I need is the ability to just say, I want to make a video right now. I just had an idea. Let me make it and be able to publish it by tomorrow morning. You know, I, that needs to be part of my process or else the video is not good. Like I was talking about this in a previous episode, but like that time I, I took a old camera to um, Chicago and I was filming around. I got home and I tried to edit it and I tried to turn it into a narrative and it didn't work because it took more than a day and I, that, I hate that but I think I also need to take advantage of the fact that my brain is wired like we can only make content in a day and just make the best content possible in one day you know the best let me make content today content so that's basically that's I guess that's my goal is prove that like great YouTube videos don't need to take a super long time I don't know I guess that's that's kind of a dumb goal I just I don't know I can't tell but the videos are doing well and the uh the statistics are going up. When I started this back up, I was at like 101, 106, and I've already gone like up to 117 at the time of recording. That makes me feel good. I need like a second channel where I can talk about YouTube. I feel bad talking about the channel on the channel, like objectifying the audience. I just wanna say, I absolutely thank every one of you. I'm just talking about it from a third person. I mean, cause that's how I feel. Like it's just a thing I created. Very interesting that like people can be entertained and enthralled by it when it you know to me it's just well i just made that in a day you know pick this shit out the pickaxe is definitely going to break soon oh yes there we go there's the pickaxe so do i continue with gold and stone i guess we do this we mine with stone we pop an ore and we get it with gold that's how that's gonna be i don't know youtube shit's very confusing especially like i said in the beginning of the episode did not intend for any of this to like do anything on the internet really i in fact i would i would if you asked me then i would have said like i want it to just do nothing i didn't want the responsibility of like you know, maintaining an audience and whatnot um but i do want to get some schedule back into this content and make it i'm enjoying doing daily uploads but that's only because it's summer and that's only because i'm home alone so I, i'm thinking i'll do <laughs> the channel description says like episodes every saturday at 11 a.m central and I think that's what I want to do, is make it a weekly thing, bi-weekly on a good week. But then make make more bonus episodes through Patreon and through um, Spotify and whatnot. I got the opportunity to monetize my Spotify already, so you could buy a subscription there. But I'm debating whether or not I want to keep that active or do Patreon with bonus episodes. I do like the ability, the ideal ability, to just like pay for a Spotify subscription if that's all you want. There are nether caves. Oh, they're just like boring. I don't know. I, I but at the same time, I want the um, ability to, you know, pay for the content in one spot. So it'd feel weird if I had a Spotify and a Patreon. I wouldn't want someone to get confused and accidentally like buy the same thing twice. So that's a little confusing. But I should probably just focus on the uh, the free videos on YouTube for now. I don't know though. I mean, if I have good enough benefits and I'm able to pitch them, like that's that's you know subscribers. It's weird. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't want to talk about the business side of it too much on the channel. But just it's so interesting to me. All right, there we go. All my pickaxes are broken. Head back. <sighs> but I'm excited to work a job that's gonna be nice um and i said this to my brother the second i got hired i'm like now i can start side hustling because there's all like for the past i mean however many months i've been unemployed there's been like an idea of side hustling but you know like i can't i can't actually do it like i don't know it's like devoting all your time to a side hustle just kind of makes it a job and then it paradoxes itself out so, but once you have a job, you can start like making money on the side and having fun with that. Did I kill this guy? No, bad idea. Oh shit. Sorry. Oh fuck. Uh, I want to keep this. 
Do I need it? I guess not. Oh, I can eat one of these. Add up. It was not worth it, and they're gonna be aggro at me when I get back up. Audio listeners, I killed a zombie pigman. Actually, we're chill. I'm chill with them. Yep. Oh, gotta sneak by ya. Sorry. Heard about that guy that died. Uh, crazy shit, dude. Killed by a player? <laughs> that shit's crazy. I haven't seen any players around here, no. But yeah, you, um... When you're working a job, you can think of all these alternate ways to make money. And I just feel like when you're not, you absolutely have more time to do that. But I feel like your focus just isn't going to be on it at all times. You know, with, with like in all that free time, I think you're still just going to be lazy and do nothing. But when you have a job, you're like, oh, fuck, I want to make uh, more money in my free time. There's just a bigger desire to make money. But there's not when you're just unemployed side hustling. But that's just I mean, that's just how my brain works. I'm sure plenty of people can make all this crazy money on the side. All right, let's see. Did I go this way or that way? There's the church. We'll see if someone stole my goods. I'm gonna take this netherrack, throw it in this portal. That's yours now. See ya. What? I need space for my crates. What was I to do? Oh, hey, uh, hey, what's up? Just uh, yeah, no. You hear about that? No, you probably wouldn't even. It didn't. It didn't make it over to you yet. Yeah, that zombie pigment that died. Uh, not too unlike yourself over over um in like in that mine over there I I'm just telling you because I like I thought you'd know about it I heard it from another zombie pigman is like that's that's what that's my, how that's my that's what I know about it so I'm just gonna take my items here and um yeah and so that's just that's just what I heard anyway uh, I don't know who I don't know who who would do such a thing it's like a player is like crazy look well no I am a player I just I hardly I'm not I'm not like a I'm not like a player player like I'm I'm just like visiting you know I don't like I don't like play around and stuff you know so I, well I play around I just don't like you get it you get it zombie pikmin you get it all right here we go clown town clown town love clown town let's go all right the season taverno rockhold mining episode nether mining episode that's that's more frequent okay wait new question I know there is an incinerator. Is that like a mega ultra super cool furnace? So I need basalt bricks. All right, let's see here. Forge, basalt bricks, incinerator. Is this just like put fuel in, put stacks of goods in? No, it's not. Okay, good to know. So that so that's what I, I just used my forge on. Good. Okay. Uh, limestone. Boom. Basalt. Boom. Let's melt this iron and make another. Hello? I like, I don't know, just the dynamics of this mod are super cool. The way things work together, the what the, you know, I don't know. Here we go, forging my stuff away. Okay, I've only been recording for 39 minutes, but I think I'm gonna have to cut it because I just realized I have to empty the dishwasher as well. I live with my parents. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Taverno Rockhold. I know it was a short one. Um, we'll get some longer stuff going. I just had like a funny idea like, oh, I got to record this before my parents go home. What a funny game. Like, ha 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 ha. Uh, I know I need to work on my topics a lot, but um, I don't know. Tell me what I could do better in the next episode uh, and continue enjoying, continue subscribing. Check out the Patreon. Check out the, the podcast version. Just set up auto downloads. Why the hell not? Right. You got the storage space on your device. Uh, thank you all so, 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 so much for watching, and goodbye.